Hello everybody, and welcome to the League of Dracula, and um, you can probably tell already I'm not playing in this game. Uh, this is a match uh, from Group A between Pirate Joe, who's playing as the Hunters, and Useless, uh, who is playing as Dracula. Hopefully that is not uh, nominative determinism in action. Um, we shall see. Hello. Good luck. Right. I'm not going to be interacting with the chat at all for the rest of the game, just purely watching and talking to you guys at home about what's going on. Um, so they've just played Monday's turn, um, so I'm missing the initial, initial setup, so um, Pirate Joe has done a thing here where Damien's in Munich but Mina's down in Milan, so they'll be able to scan Germany and uh, Italy at some point, but obviously leaves the east quite far open. So, so what do we have? Um, Mina's got holy bullets, and I think that's charted carriage. Yes, it is charted carriage. Okay, and uh, useless has already thrown down a rumor token, which I imagine most players will do. Um, there is a risk that. It, um, does not be mature, and you're losing a rumor token early. But at the same time, if uh, the hunters don't get a newspaper or a hypnosis or Jonathan Harker early, then uh, or anything else like hide scouts and just l happen to hit upon the trail, then yeah, that rumor token might well mature. So there's no reason why you try to get an easy six or seven points for yourself. Um, so those of you who've been watching. Uh, my channel for a bit will know Pirate Joe. I've had a couple of games against him. I've had a, quite a few games off camera as well. Um, and uh, I don't know anything about Useless. They seem to be, a, at least to the Discord community, a new player. I don't know in terms of Fury of Jackal how much they played. So um, we shall see how this goes. So yeah, I think Useless has already played one game. Um, I think it was yesterday against Mr. Green. That was a bit of a baptism of fire for them. but. Um, now, uh, Eustace, Eustace played that game as the Hunters, now he switched on to Dracula, so we shall see how they get on. So, pretty normal things. Um, first week or so, there's not going to be much going on until Dracula's trail is found, but we can kind of play the game along with them and try and work out where Dracula is. Um, Yeah, apologies if you hear some munching. I've had um, having a late, a very late dinner, so if you hear <laughs> if you hear chewing or you hear uh, or you go silent for a bit, then that'll be why. Okay, a bit of confusion here. <laughs> right. Okay. So something I've noticed here is um, misdirect hasn't been used on the first base uh, that Dracula has put down. Um, so the reason why Dracula players might do this is just so then if they get newspaper reports now, it's not revealed. So you're delaying that potential reveal. Obviously, if um, if the hunters get newspaper reports on day four, then uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> but you never know because I've drawn it um, sometimes on day three, um, or then you're delaying it for when it get when everything slides onto the fifth space if you pick up newspaper reports really early. So yeah, that's just a wee trick. Um, that's something I hadn't really, I didn't know about playing the physical version. It never occurred to me that that would be important. Um, I was going to enjoy the community here and they pointed it out to me. Um, I don't know. Does it have a track for one? No, it doesn't. Well, at least not on my screen anyway. So something, something funky is going on there. Right. Alright then. This is interesting. I've seen Pyro Joe do this a couple of times against me with his hunters. Um, 
it does leave the east very open, but then maybe that's obvious. It's an obvious play then to go uh, further east. Uh, starting position for Dracula, so it's, uh, yeah, tricky. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, so yeah, first week generally is relatively quick. Um, it's fairly standard stuff. Um, just supplying, getting tickets, trying to get horse economy. If you subscribe to the whole horse, horse economy idea, then um, if you have fast horses, then you'll try and get your tickets all sorted. You might trade stuff around. Evil presence could be useful. Nope. Okay. But then again, no information. Sorry, no information is also information because it means then it's very unlikely that Spain. I mean, could have started in Spain and sneaked out before Evil Presence kicked in, but unlikely. Um, same with the UK as well, so that rules out those things. Um, so there are options maybe Pirate Joe might move Seward up into France because it's highly unlikely that Spain is going to be important, at least for the, the next few days. So. Depends. If, if Seward has got really good items or good events already, then why not? Might um, rail up to Bordeaux or Paris. Interesting. Oh, okay. I see arguments for both here, either for putting it as the ally or for searching, because you've got quite a lot of space on the trail, so you could could catch Dracula here. Um, I suppose there's the risk if you use it as the search ability. You might not get surprising return to get the ally back, so. Yeah, so it's a tough one when that happens. Hmm. So it'd be interesting if. If newspaper reports will be revealed now, because maybe the hunters got it really early. Hmm. Or if not, I'll have to keep digging for it, and then maybe then there might be some night supplies coming in. Um, if newspaper reports hasn't been drawn yet. Six Dracula cards in the discard. So that means there's 19 left in the deck. Oof, more or less normal odds then. I guess for those of you who don't know, there are 75 event cards and a third of them are Dracula events. So you can kind of work out. And that's a good, that's a one benefit of the digital version. They count the cards for you, so you can kind of work out, right, what, what are the odds here that I'm going to pick up a Dracula card? But then, until you pull from the bottom of the deck, you'll, you never know. I've had it where it's been almost like, you know, 1 in 4, 1 in 5 odds of getting a Dracula card. I still get a Dracula card, because that's just the way the game works, doesn't it? <laughs> so. Okay, it's still supplying. No newspaper. That's very interesting. Because you wouldn't delay playing newspaper. Oh. Oh, no, Sister Agatha. Okay, he might search with this one. Keep Rufus in play. There's a good chance that he catches him. Ah! Okay, alright, the hunt's on now. So, ah, okay, that's a good get. That's a very good get. I'm trying to work out where Jacker. Oh, okay, so he's ruled out the two. I think they're the two further spaces from Godalming. It can't. This is the thing. It can't be Athens because. I mean, he could have started in Athens. 
but the one with the encounter, the important one is the one with the rumor token. It can't be Athens. Because um, if you if you move, if Dracula moved from 55 to 3, without the misdirect, you can't go back. Um, so, even though it didn't hit anything with hide scouts, gives a bit of information about what direction. Um, so, maybe started in 46 and went 46, 55, 50. Or maybe played really cheeky and started next to Kadam, went 59, 49, 50, and is now heading down towards Athens or. Hmm. So the the advantage was starting in the east like this is like yes okay there are two hunters that normally start in the east but the other two are really far away so Van Helsing and Seward aren't going to be a concern for Dracula for a little while. Um, the issue is you're kind of boxed in when you go into the east. Um, it's very difficult to get out westward. Um, the only way you can do that is if the hunters leave Munich open. Uh, then you can maybe wolf. I mean you can you can wolf form through hunters but it makes it far easier to do that if hunters aren't seen there um good army has fast horses so looks like he's got his economy reasonably well set up that you got that yellow two out and um yeah it's, it's a really interesting thing with like the whole fast horses with the other players who especially the non-regular players who join the community i'm really i'm gonna say that i'm really really pleased with how the, the, when I'm looking at the all the participants in the tournament and we've got a really nice mixture of regular players from the community, players who used to play in the community but then for whatever reason left or whatever and then now they've returned and you've got people who have never been part of the community before and um, maybe just saw the competition on the Steam page or whatever. So it's going to be really interesting to see how people approach certain things especially like with certain like the players who haven't played for a long time um, or the newer players like are they going to know about the fast horse economy so they might rely more on just conventional road travel or like special cards like sense of emergency or they'll utilize rail a lot more so is that going to hurt them because they're not going to have as much like reliable movement but then because they're not having got fast horses they'll have more weapons and that's the thing with fast horses it actually gives you a lot more movement you're having to sacrifice a uh, an item um, slot, which could be towards a heavenly host or a weapon or something like that, to, and it'll give you more fighting power. So, it's, yeah, it's, it's all about that balance. Um, there's no, there's definitely arguments for both. Ah, wolf form. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so hunters immediately have two issues to deal with. Firstly, they have to deal with this rumor token thing, and uh, and also work out where Dracula's wolf form from and where wolf form to. So that's a lot of things you got to try and do all at once. Um, the priority is probably stopping the rumor token, but then again, Kadalming's uh, the only one who's really in a good position and might not pick the right place. That's the thing. There's lots of different ways Dracula could have gone here. Um, so if, if Gdalming happens to land on the right city, then well done, but uh, there's no guarantee for it. Uh, okay. Assume that that's Mina going to the Lona, right? Okay. Right. So yeah, not there. Oh, another yellow too, so that extends where Gdalmi can go to, but we'll... Down may go onto the right space. Otherwise, this could be seven points. Ah. So, assuming this is not a bluff, then that could be um, a lot of points coming in Dracula's way here. Hmm. I did. Because um, in 15. 49. 
I'm trying to work out where Draco's Wolf form from. 50. Did it go 56, 53? And it's now Wolf form to 38? Ooh, maybe. Maybe. And because now Mina is committed to going, has gone to 55, there's no, if she was at Satan 57, there's possibilities for doing psychic bonds to try and find him. Try and find Drac, but now that Mina's committed all the way over here, that's not going to happen for a while, so... There's still a lot of cards in the deck. I don't know, actually, I might have missed it on the first day, but there's potentially still... Let me... I can check the... Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, they're all... Card... I, I, I checked this earlier. There's only one Hide Scout. There's three more in the deck, so... Hunters might be able to get that. Seward... Seward will probably go to 38 to check. Yeah, because Dracula couldn't have got as far as 58 to wolf form. Nah. My, my gut assumption here is that Draco has gone 56, 53, as then wolf form from 53 to 38. That's my gut feeling with what's going on here, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll, we'll very soon see. I hope, uh, if this is a, a vampire, I hope that he doesn't... Uh... Ah, very well done. Okay. I uh, complained... Oh, I wasn't complaining, but I was like, critiquing that Dracula didn't use misdirect early. But it didn't cost them, because no newspaper reports has been drawn. But misdirecting where wolf form from is really good. Let's see. Very okay. They got a vampire to mature. Ah... Interesting. So how do you... Belgrade? Right, so it's gone Belgrade. It's number 6 to 49 to 50, or 6 to 10 to 50. If it's 6 to 10 to 50, it might have gone to 49, then saw will form to 38. That is an option. I mean, I like that they've misdirected the space before the wolf form, but because it seems, I don't know, maybe, maybe it seems too obvious to me that it's Munich that they've wolf formed to, is there a need to misdirect it? Because you've taken something off the trail, which, you know, is something else that the hunters have to deal with. Hmm. I don't know. I think maybe... There might be an argument not to misdirect, because... They'll find 38 soon, if it is 38, because 38 just seems so obvious, because it's the place that links the western part of the map to the eastern part. If they'd gone 49, 650, and then what did they do? They did one more space and then wolf form. Ugh, that gives them a lot less options. They'll be stuck still in the east. So I think, unless I'm mistaken, if they check 38 and 38 isn't the wolf form location, Dracula has to still be in the east. But they got seven points, which is a good start. Um, so I have to see if uh, they can get any more. Or if the hunters can um, can get onto Dracula's trail quickly, we shall see. It's not the end of the world for the hunters if they do seven points early. I get a little bit annoyed sometimes when it happens because sometimes you just don't draw newspaper reports, but the odds of it are very are low. So and it's, not, and it's recoverable because you know. Um, as long as none of the hunters die, uh, Dracula's still got to try and get, you know, and there's no other vampires maturing. They've got to take two moves with Fury of Dracula, um, which is difficult sometimes. Um, and if you use Vampire Lair, you can reduce it by two. But again, you might not draw Vampire Lair. Uh, I don't know about this. I, I really feel that. 38. Checking 38 is really important. I mean, if 38's empty, then yeah, um, the hunters are right to be committing to these like this, but I feel like 38 is the place to go. 
Because if somehow... Maybe I'm missing something. 6, 10, 15, 20, Okay, now you can search. Where is the search? Analysis, I assume. Oh my days, he wolf formed eastward. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe when I watch this recording back, I'll realize that I could have got to 38. Oh, wait, or maybe Gadami was sitting in 49. So it's impossible to do it. Ah, uh, maybe it's impossible then. At one point, Kadami went from 49 to 28. So maybe it was impossible for Draco to have got to 49 when Kadami wasn't there, then Wolf formed. Mm. And might have all happened on the same turn. Yeah, so may maybe maybe, maybe it's right. Maybe I missed something there. Um, I'll blame the fact that it's late at night. <laughs> so I'm not fully awake. Okay. So they still have to deal with Galatz, uh, but they've got plenty of days to deal with it. Um, Drac is probably now in, I assume, in 10. So I might look to head to a port city, maybe. But then if they go to sea, they're going to take so much damage from Rufus Smith. Rufus is a pain. Oh, interesting move. OK. Is he banking? Yeah, because you got the day combat. Um, that's the problem. When, when you walk into a hunter, you can't place an encounter. And it's a day combat, not a night combat. And now all the hunters can move. This could be a 3v1. This could have been a 3v1. If fast horses work. And he said if Draco can just get free damage onto Mina like that, then it will make the upcoming fight easier. I mean Mina can walk out of Sophia before the night fight, so that's um not uh, not the end of the world. If Mina gets low here. That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> Go to a port city, or maybe try and be tricksy and move to like six or something. Um, and it, it just, the hunters will then fly past you, thinking you've gone to a port. Uh, I didn't expect uh, Draco to move into Mina like that. We'll see if it pays off. Oh. Oh, wow. Got the plotting. Oh, that's not where I want to click. I want to click the I button, not the chat. I don't know why there's two chat buttons here. I've never understood that. <laughs> I wonder what track I will pick here. I don't know. So let's see. That includes the pistol. Yeah, so Mina has two basic has the three basic cards plus pistol plus something else. Oh, she must have another item. Does she, I wonder if she has fast horses. Can't remember. Mesmerize with a punch. Oh she has a knife. Okay, there you go then. <laughs> um so so not to worry about the plotting, Mina might just keep playing weapons over and over, but then Dracula will know this and be able to try and get quite a bit of... I know, she's got one strength left. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh no, it's actually that's an even trade because of the mesmerize. I mean, you're getting Mina lower. Oh, ah, never mind, has holy bullets. Okay, that's then probably worthwhile for the hunters then. Because yeah, uh, holy bullets isn't. Um, it's not affected by the mesmerize. Um, taking one less damage from the weapon, because it's not the weapon, it's just like an extra card that's added on top. Um, yeah. If it was an even trade, I'd be like, okay, but the fact that Dracula's taking more damage, and Mina could just walk out if if Fire Joe just decides, oh, I don't want Mina to be in this fight coming up at night, could just... Yeah, he's just maximizing the amount of damage he can give to Dracula here to make it easier. That's another two damage. Dracula needs to try and get like a strength here. If Dracula wants to not take as much damage. Do they use both mesmerizers? No, only one mesmerize. Okay. Ah. Uh. Yeah, because maybe thought he was going to bluff, I guess? Maybe he didn't have strength. It'd be not lucky if he hadn't picked up his second strength. Maybe fangs would be better in that instant, because you'd gain... You'd take one damage from the pistol, but you'd gain two from the fangs. Ooh, yeah, this could get rough for Draka really quick, and very good for the hunters very quickly here, especially if Seward can join in. Yep. Yep, this is going to be a 3v1. Yeah, maybe just keep being in the fight here. Yeah, because if the hunters have quite a lot of stuff, I mean it's just another one to deal with damage. I mean, the good thing in this situation is Draco only needs to play two combat rounds and then can escape as bat, but. Um, Mina will keep her knife for that. I don't know what the other two have. Ah, oh, it's Sud who has the planned ambush, not Kadame. Okay, good to know. Jack was probably just wandering here, like, <laughs> what is the the way that they um, minimize damage taken? I hope it's not crashed. I hope they're just thinking. Um, oh, it's really difficult here. Um, just play. I don't know. Play. Strength. Like, oh, oh, so tricky because like if you try, if you try to take one of them out of the fight, the other two will just wail on you. Um. So unless unless Seward and Gadalme don't have like really good combat stuff, if they've got like garlic and things like that, um, unlikely. 
I guess it, I'm going to assume that they both have a conventional weapon each. Uh, just try and get the kill on Mina, I guess. Just try and get points. Oh, wow. Damn, played the fangs and had the knife. That could be GG, depending on what uh, Godami and Suda played. Oh, a knife too. Uh, after a good start game, the um, the vampire to mature and seven points in the bag. It went downhill for Dracula took and a knife, triple knife. Getting the swag points, triple triple knife to end the game. Ah, well you can see that's another thing too, just like how quickly the game can turn, uh, especially when you've got fast horses in a reliable state. Um, so there you go. So anyway. Um, that was one of the games from the League of Dracula. Um, I'll be recording more of them as the, um, the the first stage progresses. I'll be spectating some games if I'm able to. I'll record my own if I'm able to. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this um, game. This is from Group A. And um, yeah, see you in the next video very, very soon.